Okay, so Tiffany, tell us your story. How did you get to Hardin Simmons University? I came to Abilene with my husband, Craig. Uh, he's the worship pastor at Pioneer. And so we ended up in Abilene and I got a call randomly one day from Dr. Travis Craver and he said, hey, do you wanna come do this thing? And I said, yes, when can I start? <laughs> he's pretty random. He's random, but calculated, yes. I feel like. Well, uh, so you got here at Hardin Simmons. Your first role here was? My first role here was working for you yeah. a little bit in the office and then pretty much just getting all of the chapel worship teams kind of reset and just getting a little more attention right there so that they could do what they do now. So And now you have how many in worship? We pretty much rotate 50 plus students week to week for leading in chapel worship teams. What do you love about students, hard to students? Uh, number one, they keep me young. Okay. Um, I'm not really like in with the mom jeans thing. That's too far for me, but I can appreciate it. Uh, they keep me young, but they also keep me um, just encouraged and energized about the world that we live in. Mm. I see so many of these students with so much wisdom and just their perspective on the world growing up so different than when I was even in college. Mm. And so I'm learning from them a lot, I think also. I think we all do. Mm -hmm. What is it about worship that is part of your being, yeah. your core? Yeah, so one of the things we talk about a lot is worship doesn't just equal music, right? The, the Bible actually talks about worship being this whole life thing that we do. Um, so really kind of using music as one of the tools to do that, but the word worship actually means worth. Like, mm -hmm. where are you placing your worth? Where is your what is worth it to you, right? And so kind of that idea of living a life of worship leads into every part of our lives, not just when we're in church or just when we're singing, you know. What is it about teaching that you enjoy? Why do you like to teach? I did not know that I liked to teach. Um, I got asked to teach a college class back, I don't know, maybe 2009 or something like that at a different university and I was terrified. Um, that people were gonna be looking at me every day for like real information. Um, but I ended up really loving it and that's when I just kind of felt this thing from the Lord that was like, I want you to teach on the things that you know and the things that you've walked through with worship. And so I never thought I would get to do that and I love it, I love it every day, having conversations that are purposeful about God and that I can actually see kind of the light bulbs coming on in their heads of like, God has a purpose for my life, you know, and it can be, it can be music, it can be worship, it can be ministry, it can be any of these things that we don't think about just off the top of our heads. Women in worship? Yes. Tell me. Uh, biblically, no, well, women in worship? No, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's become more prevalent. Yeah. And is it something that's ex more accepted by the church, more needed, more necessary? What, what do you I would say, say yes to all of that. Um, I believe when I read the Bible that it talks very clearly about God calling women to do big things, right? Mm -hmm. And that includes understanding His voice and leading other people closer to Him. I think that's the essence of worship. Mm -hmm. And so I don't think that that's limited to any one person or one gender or any of those things. So I think it's really important, yeah. Favorite vacation with your family? You've got, you and your husband have four kids, two, a, twin, a set of twins, yes. two boys and two, two girls, tell me. Two boys and two girls. Uh, we're a little tired, uh, but we're happy about it, most, mostly. Um, we are actually going to Disneyland in like two weeks. Oh my. So, but I'm not taking the girls. I don't think that would be fun. <laughs> okay, so we won't release this video until you're back because they so, don't want the girls to know. It's okay, they're not gonna know. Okay. Um, they're just two, they're, they're not gonna know. Um, but I think that one's gonna be fun. Good. We're, we're kind of making a big nostalgic trip out of it and going to all the pizza places. Shakey's, we have a of Shakey's Pizza. Yeah. We have a pizza passion in our family. So we try to call it that instead of a pizza problem. Yeah, good. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> we're good, I appreciate you coming in. Yeah, you bet. <laughs>